for joining us for another Sugar Lime Blue Sunday shout out. This is Dave. I'm Ashley of Sugar Lime Blue. And this Sunday shout out is going out to Alex Yu Lang 6566. Alex, we hope you enjoyed your shout out. We'll see everybody next week with another one. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, ring that bell so you never miss a shout out. We'll see you next week. Shout Bye. out. Hey friends, Ashley of Sugar Lime Blue here. I wanted to draw your attention to something we've started doing on our Facebook. We've been featuring one of our special Sugar Lime Blue tie-dye t-shirts weekly. Here's an example of one of them. You guys seem to be enjoying this, so we're going to keep it up for a little while. So make sure you're looking for us on Facebook with our special weekly Sugar Lime Blue tie-dye t-shirts. <laughs> First time I ever heard the song was the Black Crows, but then later on I got really into Otis Redding. So love Otis Redding. Yeah, super, super good singer. Fun fact: the first time I heard this song, you were singing it. What? Yeah. I don't even remember hardly singing this song. <laughs> <laughs> I believed Fun. you. I'm like, this man is hard to handle. I am hard to handle. Dang it. <laughs> 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 I think I got you a dozen roses one time. <laughs> yeah, I would rather. And, and then you learned I would rather have a live rose bush than a, a dozen roses Absolutely. every day. Yeah. For sure. I was writing was very influential on the time. You know, like, oh, yeah. you, like a lot of the bands we liked, they really liked them. Yeah. They really idolized them even. You know, like uh, even the dead were huge Otis Redding fans. Such a cool feel of music. Yeah. He has every, every song that he had. I think he's one of the artists that I very much enjoy. His catalog, the each song is really different, and he has he's got a lot to say. I, I like think him a that, lot. Um, he's one of my top three, like R&B, yeah, of that era, you know, because uh, my big three are Bill Withers, Al Green, and Otis Redding, of course. But then also, you know, a lot um, over the past couple of years, Alan T. Saint, which mm -hmm. is maybe a little bit different because he's got the New Orleans thing. Yeah, he's my top New Orleans guy. You know, not that it's a competition, but for me, their songs speak to me the most. I think. Yeah. I think you can have uh, people, you could say they're your top people just because you gravitate to them. Yeah, I know we talked absolutely. last week about art and how subjective or objective it yes. is. And I think without it being a, com a competitive 
between who whom you like better than somebody else. It's just in the moment again. Exactly. I'll say it's it's what is hitting in the moment for where you're at in your headspace. I think I could easily say like Otis Redding is my favorite, you know, R and B singer at at a certain time in my life, you know, in a, mm-hmm. in a certain period. Mm-hmm. But I would never say that, oh, he's hands down the best. But he's definitely one of the best. And that is saying that objectively, I think. <laughs> he is yeah. pretty darn yeah, phenomenal. So. But I do believe I have a bias toward him because I've listened to a lot of his music and yeah. been and, and wanted to be influenced by his music. Exactly. So this song was the Otis Redding version of this song was recorded in 1957 and released in 1958 wow. after he had passed away. What? He uh, recorded it that. very shortly before he passed. So he passed in 58? I I don't know 68? if it was, No, no, it was... Fi- oh, now you're going to make me question everything that I've read. I think it was 57, 58. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I Go fact check for yourself. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I need to fact check that now. Yeah. I had it like, in my mind. But it's a different time. Either way, it I was... was surprised. I didn't know that he died at, that He must have died at a young age. I believe like. so. I didn't look further into that. Uh, it, uh, the article that I read said tragic death. As so much as get, I enjoy yeah. his music and as much music I've heard about from Otis Redding, I have not researched his life very much. Yeah, I would love to see a documentary of him. I don't think that there's an Otis Redding documentary out there. Let's go Google. Let's go. And wrapping wrap back around to our old-timey music, um, Black Crows did release this in 1990. <laughs> 1990, For old time. time me. <laughs> old time sake. <laughs> Both are old time All sake. All right, we're going to go Google. We'll see everybody next week. See you next week. <laughs>